Well, hey guys, I just got back from Ohio. I was a, took a little road trip. I even got to meet Zach at Half Pace Outdoors. We'll throw a little video up. You know, the dogs are coming out to visit. And maybe, as you can tell by what is on the back of his vehicle, we're here to see Zach. At half pace outdoors. I was in the neighborhood, so I stopped in. Look at him sitting there being a bum. <laughs> you know, where are YouTubers? <laughs> nice How to you meet, doing, finally man? meet you. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Yeah, it looks like you're getting things taken care of right now. We just sat and talked, didn't shoot any footage or anything, just wanted to meet him. I was over close to there, so I stopped in to say howdy. And, uh, well, we're going to try to get together and do a video. But, this is a, a bimini top for my boat. Three bow. This says, uh, right here, three bow. But I picked it up for uh, 80 bucks brand new still in the box as you can see let me uh, never he opened it just to take a look at it and it was the wrong color top I don't care about the top as long as I got a top uh, it the Sun has just been so hot out I need something to so I can stick stay out on the water longer but uh, we're gonna put this thing together and then we're going to untarp the boat and uh, try and get this thing mounted. I don't know, it shouldn't take long. It's just, it all throws together uh, pretty quickly from what I've seen in the directions. And uh, get this thing mounted uh, before it gets dark. Because it's about 6.37. We've got a couple hours. So let's get at it, man. Star show in our eyes. Like the lights of fireplace, we were obsessed and we felt warmth in our chests. Your heart was full of dreams, it made you feel extreme. Give me a sign if you keep it in mind. But somebody told me that it's over, I know it's true. the sides on it, uh, the bows, so I just got it propped up against the house, but now to uh, transfer it over onto the boat, I got the boat uncovered, so let's do that. Hi. Just set it on the back of the boat to where if I put it down in the stow position to where I can put the cover on. Uh, and it's not, it just barely in front of the motor, which is going to be just fine. Uh, so now the thing, it, it, it's, you can see it's just a tad on the wide side, but they say that you can, there's about six inches of play to where you can squeeze them in, which is fine because I'm going to be mounting them right on the top of the gunnel 
yeah it's going to take up the old measuring board but hey it is what it is i don't i don't really care but i am gonna mount put those uh mounts on right now and then get it attached and uh then we'll work on the the front strap and back straps and it comes with the the main mounts I did count the screws I'm short one so I'll have to get one but hey it is what it is but you mount these on your gunnel and then you have a pin that pins them in place and uh, so you can remove it at any time but I am going to get these mounted up and uh, see how well this goes together what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mount this and then take the sharpie mark the hole where I want that one take it back off so I can't get to this one and uh Then I got drill bits and I'm going to pre-drill because these are not self-tapping. Get the right size drill bit so at least it will bite it and uh, keep it in place. And drill. I got the bit, drill bit in there or uh, screw chuck in there right now. Whoop, wrong way. You remember the Bauer drill video I did? You can go back and check on check that out. Get a review on that. Still probably be able to use this measuring stick. Uh, Let's get started. <laughs> I don't want to strip the holes. Tell you what, that is a strong drill. I just need the right chuck in it, you know. Oh, 
I'm going to put them in this way. So now I'm going to go over and do the other side. Okay, we got her up. She's a little bit pointing up in the front, but you can take the straps and adjust them. You can slack, take the slack out in the back, pull them up in front, level it out, however you want to do it. But I got it to where uh, it's virtually even both directions. But uh, what I did here on this side is I took, I measured over there from the main mount forward to where I put the other mount, the clip. I measured up to here. Right? There's the mark. You can barely see it. And then I did the same in the back. So I'm going to get that in there and uh, show you how that's done. Well, like I said, I just measured it up. And I take the, the ring that, that all it is is a, it's like a little mount, you know, so you can clip the straps to it. And I put it in the center. I ran it in the center of the gunnel. So it's put even on both sides. I'm going to try it. I'm just eyeballing it. I ain't, I ain't going to get too precise. As long as it is close, it looks at the, about the same across because my lights are here and that kind of gauges me too. Take the drill bit out or the chuck, the screw, uh, the Phillips head bit. Now I'm going to do the same back there. Just take one with me. That. And I have that one mounted in close to the edge because my light. Uh, it's in the middle of the gunnel over there, so I want it to match. So it's pretty close to the edge over there, so I just kind of want to get them close to where they look about the same. I ain't going for rocket science, or to be precise. Now you can, when you go to mount these, you can take some silicone or whatever and silicone the screw so the water won't go in. But I ain't going to worry about water get, getting in through those. I mean, what's uh, heck of a fit's raining heavy enough to where you got to worry about water getting in through there and then to inside the boat then it's underwater <laughs> oh i forgot the damn bit got the screws started because I ain't gonna I don't want to strip it so I already know where I'm needing to be and I'm gonna do the same at the front but I don't have the main straps on it which I got to get on there but uh, as you can see these straps they just slide. Because 
good enough for now until I do the front. Now I'm going to put the main straps on. Okay, I got the main strap up to the bar, uh, back bar, which is right there. That's where it mounts to. And I'm going to do that to the front. Tight. Uh, problem like I said I only got one screw left uh, a short one but I will get another one I can just take this one with me or just get another stainless screw which I probably that's probably what I'll do anyway so. I can get that new other screw in there. And then we just take the uh, strap, stretch it on out. Tighten it up. Same with this one. give you a look see it's gonna need a little adjusting like I said but those side curtains I got the one in front of the
I've been trapped. She is. That's going to definitely help out with the uh, sun. I need to do something about that little wrinkle, but you know, let's always adjust that out. But now I can take the wipe out without fishing. But, uh, that's a easy. I mean, that was just so easy to put together. You know. <clears throat> Usually you see these you know, bimby tops, even the cheap ones, going for about $80 to $100, and you don't get the sides. So that's why I dove on this. The guy wanted 90 bucks for it. I got them down to 80 I'm happy with it. And it comes with a boot cover, too. So I'll, I'm going to slip this down because I need to get this stored. Uh, but I'll, I'll put the boot on. I'll show you how that goes. And now the, the way to store it. Uh, I am, I'm going to try and leave these back straps on. I might just take this, the side skirt strap off and uh, the sidewall strap off just in case, but I don't know. I guess that'll work. I don't know. You might have to take the side skirts, the side skirts off to get that to work. But yeah, that that will work. And then plus you can you can unclip it and flip it over this way if you want to store it that way. But next thing is to see how my boat cover. Uh, works with it because I need to have my boot
I think that's going to work good. Well, guys, there she is, all tightened down. Probably won't be able to get her out till next week. But for the boat cover from Walmart, it's it does the job until I can get a, a uh, custom one made. It takes time, piece by piece. Well, thanks, guys, for watching the video on the installation of the Cacket. Cacket. Uh, bimini top. Three, it's a three bow bimini with sides. I'm going to look up to see what this, what it costs on uh, you know, the regular price. Um, but it, it seems like it's going to be, it's going to do good. This is the warranty card. And it says you got a, thir a three year warranty, 30 day money back guarantee. And then they give you the customer service uh, email address. So it's made in China. Chinesium, come on, you know. But we'll do another review of this later on. Let's see how it holds up. But uh, I'll find the link to this on Amazon, put it down below. And uh, if you're kind of interested in it, go ahead and go down there and check out that uh, link. Uh, that'll send you to my affiliates page. And if you buy, if you buy it, that helps me out the channel a lot. I get just a little bit of a kickback, but uh, that is the Kaket three bow bimini with sides. But uh, if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And not the finger. Leave a comment. I like to uh, get comments. I try to reply to all my comments, and it's a good way for me to find your channel. Uh, click the subscription button. If you like more of this stuff, click the bell notification and click all. I'll let you know whenever I post new stuff. But uh, I appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.